Hey, you don't hear? Okay. Um, yeah, leave it like that. I was thinking about going closer, but let's don't worry about that. So I got a box here, and uh, it's it's only really my second time. This is from Harbor Freight. Only my second time to order, and I don't remember this, but it says uh, right on the side of the box. It says warning. Before you sign for this delivery, must note, oh, you must note any damage. Now, when the heck do you ever get to sign for a delivery in this day and time? I mean, FedEx, UPS, US Mail, the only time any of them have you sign for something that I've ever I've only had a couple of times. I've been ordering stuff, you know, weekly for over 10 years. And uh, sometimes more than one thing a week. And the only time I've ever been asked to sign for anything is if I was sending something back and it was prepaid, I signed it. Or if there was, uh, there's one company I ordered from that if the order costs more than $100, it says you're supposed to sign for it, but the shipper has never asked you. And I, and I know this for sure because I used to always, you know, check a little box during the order and saying I don't have to sign for it. Most of the time I'd do that. And uh, sometimes I would forget or sometimes I would say, well, maybe I want to sign for it this time to make sure I get it, you know. And I haven't had any trouble where I live, but you never know when you're going to have trouble. But uh, there's somebody stealing your stuff or anything. But... Uh, yeah, I've, you know, I haven't bought a lot of things from Harbor Freight. Uh, they got good prices, but if they're jackasses like this, then why would I keep buying from them? That just, that, that gives them the option to say, sorry, uh, you know, if it got damaged during shipping, or if they stuck it in the box damaged, which is generally what happens most of the time. Sorry, you didn't, uh, you know, open it, in, and, and who, how are you going to open it in front of them? Well, I mean, they don't they don't stay. They throw it on the porch and they leave. <laughs> even if there was something on, what I'm trying saying is, even if there's something in the order that says it needs to be signed for, they don't follow that. So they're just trying to, you know, it sounds like tire, uh, Harbor Freight's trying to screw people over. And uh, since it's only the second time I've ordered from them, and I've probably only been to their stores, let's be real liberal and say five times in my whole life. I remember going in the mid 90s and when I first, you know, my friend told me about them, we went out there. And then, you know, maybe I can only really remember about three or four times since back in, say, 95 to 98 that I've ever been there. Because, you know, I like to buy tools that are going to last. But anyway, I'm opening this up. I didn't think it would be damaged. It better not be, because look what it is. These are supposed to handle 500 pounds. But, if they send you something that's already defective, then uh, <coughs> that box, kind of try, it seems like that box is going to get them out of it unless they just really want to honor it. You know? So, I decided to make this video, because that really pissed me off when I saw that. Does not make me want to order again or go there. Got all kinds of papers in there. Uh, looks like my shipping receipt. A couple of ads. And by the way, I ordered this. I haven't been feeling well and I have not felt up the messing with it, you know, doing anything. I ordered this. Let's see what the shipping day is. It's been sitting there in my room for about a week. And the other reason, the main reason why these two wheels, they were only six bucks each, four thirty nineteen. And today is, I'm looking at the computer, I'm not to sleep. Five seventeen nineteen. So yeah, I knew it had been too long. Uh, I normally don't do that. It's usually the you know the day or two, the day I get it, or maybe a couple of days. But I also ordered an air compressor, and those wheels are not for the air compressor, unless the ones that come with it are really bad. I bought them for a table saw table that I built that's out in the garage. You know, I'm not going to show that, but right now. But 
anyway I bought an air compressor and I haven't opened it either it came in its box but uh, and it doesn't I don't think there's anything on it about you know oh she didn't check it and all that stuff but this one has it in there so um, Oh yeah, on that air compressor. I didn't real, I, I, you know, I, I don't know why I didn't, uh, I guess because I wasn't feeling too good when I ordered it. That air compressor only has a 90 day warranty. And uh, you know, these kind of things, you're not surprised with Arbor Freight only has a 90 day warranty, but air compressor? I guess I let it slip by while I was comparing prices and features and stuff. That's what I was mainly looking at because most things have at least a year warranty, you know. But, uh, and of course, the people that shop at Harbor Freight all the time out there are probably like, well, why are you surprised at that? But, uh, well, they have ads all over their website saying lifetime warranty for a lot of their stuff. I don't know what it is. I guess some hand drawers or something. But that's misleading because they, I figured, well, I didn't expect to be a lifetime warranty for an air compressor. So I thought it might be a year or something. Oops, something. Let's see if this is some sort of some more papers in there. I guess I'll put those in that envelope. Let's see. Special offer for select customers. $120 wine voucher. Okay. Now don't drink wine and run your tools, kids. That wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so uh, I don't drink alcohol at all, so means nothing to me. I don't like the taste of the rotten fruit. But, uh, okay. I'll put my stuff over here. All the little ads probably over by now. Yeah, Friday, May 31, 19. So, of course, that's me. I just didn't open it. But, uh, so I'm going to take my wheels outside and I won't be not today I don't plan on putting them on the uh, on the uh, uh, table saw table but uh, I'm looking at the screen says something oh okay improper charging is detected I bought I have a 10 foot cable on my phone and sometimes it pops that stupid thing up I hope it didn't kill my video but I'm gonna have to sh answer that Okay, now my video looks like it's still working, so good. So anyway, those are going to the garage. They look like I expected, so. But I just wanted to have a record of me opening that. If there, if they, you know, was something wrong with them, I wanted to have a record of it. So if I can, I'll make a video. It's on if anybody else is out there when I go out into the garage. Uh, I'll make a video when I open the air compressor and, and when I set it up and everything. Okay, bye-bye.